Okay guys, uh, as I promised to you uh, today, I'm going to release the code, the PLC code for this uh, scene. This is called weight uh, sort. Uh, that's what we're doing is sorting by weight, right? This is uh, sorting by weight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start uh, running this, uh, this simulation. I'm going to go ahead and close up to the my uh, electrical enclosure. Uh, the code is going to run my first. The first thing is going to be running would be my main uh, function OB, and this OB will call my function blocks that will command the conveyors. This conveyor entry. I'm loading. This is my load scale. It tells me how heavy are the loads going through this conveyor are basically are. Uh, right now I got two uh, function blocks that I created it. Um, we're gonna run it uh, uh, for a few minutes and see uh, for a few seconds and see what happens. Okay, right? I'm gonna put uh, factory I/O in run mode. We got my red light. Uh, here I'm going to select my automatic function. I am going to go ahead and start, uh, press the start button. The heavy ones go straight up. This heavy heavy one. Smaller one, the lightest one goes through here, the middle weight, they go to my left conveyor. Everything light goes to my right conveyor. I created a counter uh, for for three all three of them. Left forward and right this is the actual weight of each box I get this from a tag that is a real value so they needed to be converted I'll show you that later What happens if I put the machine, the conveyor system in stop mode? Let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to press the uh, stop button here. So these conveyors, all three of them, to save energy, I shut them off completely after 10 seconds of inactivity. So if I don't see any box going through this sensor over here, the photo eye, in other words, if the photo eye is not detecting boxes going through, I just shut off all conveyors. This is what I do this. This is uh, like an en energy feature that I, I programmed Right over here, this is my scale at scale exit uh, input. If you're gonna click, if you click here, my sensor tags, you see this tag over here. This is called my my at scale exit. So if this tag over here is not seeing an off to on transition, then I'm going to use a timer off conveyor uh, count uh, timer, 
and then I'm going to run these three conveyors, which are my exit conveyor, one, two, and three. I'm going to run them for only 10 seconds. That will save energy to the plant. So I'm going to show you the code. Uh, on this code, this is my master. But let's start with my main first. My main over here, I have two uh, function blocks. This one is required to run uh, the simulation factory I.O. This is like a preset, a template, to make a communication uh, possible between my PLC simulator and factory I.O. simulation. This is a function block that's responsible for that. Now I got over here, I have another function block. This is my main function block. This function block, uh, this is the one that collects or groups group, uh, group all other function blocks. Every function block that I created or that I duplicate, I put them right over here. So here is my code for the conveyors. Uh, this runs, uh, actually this one, two over here, this one and this one, control, conveyor, uh, conveyor, let me put it on, the scale conveyor and my entry conveyor. Those are the one being controlled by this function block. See, entry conveyor and scale conveyor. If I double click, click it, you see the, the, the usual logic that I use to control conveyors. This logic is written once, and I use it over and over again. It's very basic, but it works beautifully. It's just a stepping logic that advances the conveyor as the, the boxes move forward, and they are being seen by these uh, photo eyes over here. Okay? And that's how, that's how we, I control uh, these two babies over here. All right? Follow that, I got my machine ready. My machine ready bit, it's basically uh, monitoring in real time what their scale value is. Here, I get my scale, it's coming from, let me, um, let me go ahead and blow it up, I'm, I'm, I'm zoom it in. Right over here, I got four, because this is a double integer, but my scale, it's uh, giving me a value that it is in real, like a real uh, format, a real tag. So this is for, let me just remove it. And then let's put this one over here, which is a little bit bigger, uh, heavier, I think. Actually, it is not. All right, let's keep running and then I will stop it uh, right away. Let me get rid of that baby. How about that one? Yep, that'll do it. Let me see how much that one weighs. Let me stop it. And let's put it over here. There you go. All right, that, that's one. It's about seven uh, pounds. Over here, I got 7.5. You see, this is my weight scale. And uh, in order for me to display that over here, I need to convert it. I'm going to use this uh, instruction called convert. So I'm converting from real to a double integer and put it on my weight display. And this is this tag, my weight display. This is where it's coming from. If you see my drivers, my weight scale is coming from here as an input, as a real one, and then I'm converting it to a double integer right here and put it in put it in tag display weight display. And that's the that this one over here, that tag over here, weight display, you see? Right over here. Alright, that's it. Uh, basically that's uh, what I have right now. I'm going to later on do the other one and run it again. Let me start it all over again and run it one more time. Let me stop everything, reset. And let's start it, let's start again. Put it in run mode. Go over here, factory IO in run mode. Put this in auto. 
and everything start all over again. Okay, uh, there is a piece of code that I use over here of network five. Uh, this code is the one uh, making the decision of, uh, as to how much each box weight and whether I should go forward or send it to my left or send it to my right. This is where I make that decision. If you see uh, this one over here on network four, I activate the, my step three, and this step three over here, I, it is repeated over here in these three rungs on my network five. I make the decision and use a compare uh, instruction. If it's greater or equal seven, make sure it is sent to the conveyor forward, straight up. So I go ahead and, and reset my other two conveyors and set the conveyor, the uh, not the conveyor, actually it is just the uh, this over here. This table, uh, these rollers over here, send each box either to my right or to my left or straight up. This is what I, what I control over here. Send right, send left, or send forward. So if it's not, if it's not greater than seven, then if it is, it is it greater than five and less than seven, if it if it is so, then I'm going to go ahead and send it forward. Those are my heavy boxes. So my heavy boxes go all the way over here, straight up, and they go to the uh, to this uh, uh, accumulation uh, area. Uh, on my third run, the uh, basically what I do over here, ask again if it's not either one of these two, right? So is it greater than one at least and less than four? If it is so, then I'm going to send it forward. I'm going to set my bit, set my bit forward, which is uh, responsible for moving the rollers, right? Just the actual moving the rotation of this roller, but the orientation is either send left or send right, okay? If I, over here, uh, as you notice over here, I reset it both, so my send forward sends the box straight up because my rotation is off, either the both of them. Down here, if I'm, if I'm greater, if I'm between five and seven, then I will set my left and reset my right while my, my rollers are moving forward and rotating. And finally, over here, I made the decision of, uh, of uh, asking if the box is actually greater than one and less than four. If it is so, turn on the roller so we start rotating and make sure my orientation, it's either my rotate, my orientation is to my right or to my left, okay? So that's the entire code, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll, next time I'm going to do the other one and post it as soon as possible. Uh, below over here, below this video, there is a link where I'm going to post the uh, PLC code. This is uh, Siemens version 16. So make sure you download it to your computer, to your PLC, you upload it to your PLC and test it whenever you can. All right. Thank you very much, guys.